Hello and welcome to this learning video. As I said in the last learning video that in this learning video we are going to take the problem on the same topic. The only change is instead of a 3 by 3 matrix we will be having a matrix of order 4. Okay and the problem it's a very surprising maybe surprising for you that uh, the problem of 4 by 4 matrix is rather easy than the problem that we have taken of the order matrix of order 3 okay so let us see what this uh, problem is all about so to save some uh, time I have uh, already written matrix A and as we are going to partition this matrix I have written PQ Harris also so this is very easy one so you can just uh, partition like this so what is my P you can easily write down P Q R and S okay so this is it you are uh, here you can write where where p is equal to so what is my p 1 1 2 3 what is q q is equal to 3 3 1 2 okay what is r r is equal to this 2 4 1 1 and what is s s is equal to p q r s 3 3, 1, 1. So here as you can see we have partition matrix P in such a way that its determinant is non-zero. Okay. So here you can write before that let A inverse is equal to at last also you can write let A inverse is equal to X, Y, Z, W. Okay. Next. Uh, now you can continue with uh, finding out the inverse of uh, P. Okay, so for that you have to find out first of all its determinant. So you, you can write directly also or you if you want you can find it. Determinant of P is equal to determinant of this is 3 minus 2. That's 1 which is not equal to 0. Okay, now after finding out determinant uh, P, determinant of P just find out in uh, P inverse. So what is P inverse? P inverse is 1 upon determinant of P into adjoint of p okay so what is it this p inverse is equal to uh, determinant is 1 so 1 by 1 is 1 okay so swap the diagonal elements so this is 3 this is 1 give minus sign to the non-diagonal element 3 1 minus 2 minus 1 okay And I think in the 3 by 3 matrix also we have the same matrix as uh, P. Okay. So never mind. So if uh, one after getting this uh, P inverse you can find out T. So now T. What is T? T is R P inverse. What is R? What is R? 2 by 2 matrix. So this is 2, 4, 1, 1. Then what is P inverse? Just we have found out. That's 3 minus 2 minus 1, 1. And now you can just multiply. And multiplying 2 by 2 matrix is very simple. 6 minus 4, 2. Minus 4 plus 4, 0. Then it is 3 minus 1 is 2. Then minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So 2, 0, 2, minus 1. After finding out this T is equal to RP inverse, let us find out. Let us find out uh, W. And what is W? W is equal to, what is W? W is S minus TQ inverse. Okay. So, let us find out W. W is equal to S. So, S minus T Q inverse. Okay, if you are uh, if you are finding this to be uh, difficult in solving this uh, entire thing, so what you can do, you can just find out T Q separately and then you find out uh, W. Okay, so what is this? This is matrix S. What is matrix S? We have three three one one. So three three one one. Then minus. What is T? Where is T? Uh, here it is yeah so t is this 2 2 0 minus 1 okay into q what is q where it is q 
here. So Q is this 3, 3, 1, 2. Okay. And this it's inverse. So this is same as now you can write the first matrix as it is 3, 3, 1, 1 minus minus multiplication of this. What is multiplication of this? 6. Three, two ones are two minus two zero. It's inverse. So we have six two three zero. Okay, as my TQ, and now you have to subtract these two matrices. And after subtracting these matrices, you can just uh, find out its inverse. Okay, I need these things. So let me find out this W. So W is equal to what is it? The matrix 2 by 2. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. Then 1 minus 3 is minus 2. And 1 minus 0 is 1. And it's inverse. So what is its inverse? Now see here. Determinant. You have to find out the inverse of this. So what is the determinant? Determinant of this is 3. Okay. Let me let me find it here. Therefore, inverse of this matrix. So inverse of this matrix is 1 upon determinant. So this is minus 3 plus 2. So it is minus. Determinant is minus 1. So I am writing 1 upon determinant. So it is uh, minus 1 into adjoint and how to find out adjoint swap the diagonal elements and give minus sign to non-diagonal so this is it okay now you just multiply by this minus sign to get the w that is w is equal to what is it 1 minus 1 1 minus 2 3 so this is my W. So I am getting this W to be minus 1, minus 2, 1, 3. Okay. Now we have found out W. Now find out Z. So what is Z? Z is... Uh, okay. So I am just rubbing this. <clears throat> After finding out this W, we have to find out Z. And what is Z? Minus WT. Now, Z is equal to minus of W T. Okay. So, this is same as minus of minus 1, minus 2, 1, 3 into T. What is T? T is this. So, this is 2, 2, 0, minus 1. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, this is same as, uh, I can take this minus sign later on. So, this is minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 0 okay then this 0 and this is minus 1 this minus 2 minus 4 plus 6 is 2 minus 3 so this is 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 2 minus 3 give minus uh, multiply by this minus sign so this is 0 1 minus 2 3 so 0 1 minus 2 3 is my uh, z now we have to find out y okay and what is y therefore y is equal to minus p inverse q w is it do you remember the formula minus p inverse q w so minus what is p inverse p inverse is this 3 minus 1 minus 2 1 into Q, Q is this, P, Q, Q is 3, 3, 1, 2, okay, 3, 3, 1, 2, and W, just we have found out, uh, W is this, minus 1, minus 2, 1, and 3, is equal to, so this minus, you can give it here, so this is minus 3, plus 2, and this 1 and this is minus 1 and you just multiply these two matrices.
multiplying these two matrices so this is 3 mi minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 then 3 and 3 6 then th minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7 uh, and then this 3 and this 6 9 so is that uh, 5 6 minus 7 9 yeah now you just multiply this to get this uh, y so what is this minus 15 plus 14 sorry minus 15 minus 14 minus 29 is it just a minute minus minus plus 15 minus 14 is 1 minus 15 plus 15 minus 14 is 1 then this minus 18 plus 18 so that's 0 then minus 5 plus 7 is 2 and this is 6 minus 9 is minus 3 so it is uh, 1 0 2 minus 3 1 0 2 minus 3 is my y now at last I have to find out x what is x what is x x is p inverse minus yt also x is equal to p inverse minus yt so what is p inverse p inverse is 3 minus 2 minus 1 1 minus y what is y just we have found out so this is 1 0 2 minus 3 and then t what is t where is t here it is so this is 2 2 0 minus 1 which is equal to this 3 minus 1 minus 2 1 minus this multiplication so what is this multiplication this is uh, 2 then this is 0 then this is 4 minus 6 so this is minus 2 0 minus minus plus 3 so this we will be getting this to be 3 minus 2 1 minus 2 then plus 1 then minus 2 so 1 1 minus 2 minus 2 is my x so after getting this all these values of uh, this x y z w you can just write down the final inverse so therefore a inverse is equal to x, y, z, w is equal to what is it? Now you just put all these values. Now putting all these values over here. Okay, so what is x? Here it is x 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2, then y, y is this 1. 0 2 minus 3 and then x y z what is z 0 1 minus 2 3 and uh, then w w is minus 1 minus 2 1 3 this is the problem a versus this 1 1 minus 2 2 1 2 0 minus 3 and 0 minus 2 1 3 minus 1 2 1 3 so i hope this uh, problem is clear to you so if you have any doubt you can contact and you might have feel the problem of 4 by 4 is rather easy than the problem of 3 by 3 because here all the calculations we have to done in the 2 by 2 matrix okay so thank you for watching this learning video if you have any doubt you can just uh, contact me uh, with your queries so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you